But I'm at the point with this quilt where I have to baste the layers together. And I ran into problems with floor space before and found this hack, which is put it on the wall. So I have another quilt for myself where the wall's not gonna be big enough. It needs, it's 90 inches. And like, that's big. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it. I think, I think I'm gonna have to try and just do it in halves. But for this one, we're on the wall. Uh, I've got my pins to baste with. Um, my hack has been to stick them in my sleeves so that I have some handy. Uh, and then scurry up and down this little step stool. Pinning, pinning, pinning. So I've got the top and this one side. And so I think that the proper thing is to go from side to side um, so that it like lays flat and I don't introduce uh, wrinkles or anything. And hopefully gravity is ensuring that all of these layers are flat. the problem, right, is the flatness. So you don't want wrinkles under here. So I'm filming this on the day that I've gotten my first, the day after I got my first COVID shot. And um, I'm not going to put it up until after I've given my mom this quilt. So <laughs> I think it won't see the light of day until May. Um, so by the time it goes up, I'll be able to make a comment about whether my method was successful. You know what was amazing is I didn't count the number of pins I put into my sleeve. I just put some until I got tired of it. But it was the exact number that I needed. So now I wish I had counted. I suppose I could just count what I just did. That's so much work. Who wants to count? Nobody. That's who. Um, <laughs> so. You can see I'm pinning at all four corners of these big squares. And, you know, this quilt isn't perfect. But you know what it is? At least the top, it's done. And what's better than perfect? Done. So, my mom deserves perfect. But unfortunately she had me. So, she's getting done. <laughs> Uh, and from a distance, it probably looks pretty good. It's when you get up close that you see what I mean about the imperfection. Um, It's like the point's not matching. Um, I mean, I did a lot really good. So, like these here, that's a pretty good point. And here, that's pretty good. That one's a little off. Uh, that one's better than that one. So, 
again, it's not perfect, but it's done and it's pretty good. And so I'm thinking, so the whole reason I'm making this is actually as a sample, like, so I can practice the quilting. That's the sewing of the layers together before I do that one that I hand sewed for myself. Um, so what I'm thinking is, so it's supposed to look kind of roundish, right? Like these are supposed to look kind of roundish, like an optical illusion. I think it depends on the colors you pick. But what I'm thinking is maybe I make these look more like stars. And I do like shapes that are star-like, you know? And then maybe, maybe in one or two, I'll hide some kind of little like alien or a monkey. Um, or I'll have to think of something else that my mom would like to have hidden. I am definitely, I think I should somewhere, I should write, I love you. Because I do love my mom. And if you're seeing this, mom, I love you. And I hope that you're okay with done and not perfect. And I think you will be. Anyway, so I guess that's good for now. I have to pin the rest of this. It's later than I intended it to be because I lost track of time. So, uh... Probably hello to future me when you finally upload this and hopefully by now um, I'm like fully vaccinated and I've seen my mom and I've given her a hug and that's a wonderful thing to look forward to. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this.